Hi, it's Miss Karen from the National Capital Trolley Museum. I have another story about a type, different type of transportation today. And my story is about transportation that floats on water. It's going to be about boats. My story is called Busy Boats by Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. Busy Boats. Here are the characters getting ready to get on a boat. Boats are really wonderful for sailing us around. They travel through the water with a sloppy, sloppy sound. It's fun to go out boating, especially in the sun. The water's cool and sparkly, so come on, everyone. A boat sits on the water like an empty bowl or cup. It's hollow and it's full of air, and that's what keeps it up. An anchor holds you steady when you're bobbing in a bay. You wind a chain to raise it when you want to sail away. Over lakes and seas and rivers, wind blows very strong. Some boats have sails to catch it, so it pushes them along. To handle boats with masts and sails, you need a clever crew. The captain is the one in charge who tells them what to do. A dinghy or a rowboat is useful near the shore. You make it travel backward by pulling on each oar. A motorboat is powered by propeller from the back. It whooshes through the water and leaves a foamy track. And just in case by accident you tumble from the boat, you have to wear a life jacket made to help you float. Some boats are built for fishing where the ocean waves are steep. Their nets are cast to catch the fish, then haul them from the deep. A ship can carry cargo, which is loaded at the docks. Heave ho, look out below, here comes a giant box. A ferry carries cars and trucks to where they need to go. The people travel up above. The vehicles stay below. A mighty ocean liner has a big and busy crew. It carries many passengers. They're waving now. Yoo-hoo! The ship has cozy cabins where the passengers can stay, and out on deck they stroll around and watch the sea or play. But when the journey's over, ahoy, the lighthouse rock. The ship glides into harbor and ties up at the dock. This picture shows us lots of the different parts of a boat. You could have a lighthouse. It's a tall building on the coast with a flashing light to guide ships and keep them from away from the rocks. A propeller, they talked about that in our story. This has blades that spin around very fast at the back of the boat and push against the water to move the boat forward. You've got the deck. This is the floor of the boat. You've got a cabin. This is where little room where you can sleep on board a boat. And here it says the name. This boat happens to be named Mandy. Many boats are given names by their owners. Here's cargo. This is the name for the goods that are carried on a ship. The oars, those are the long poles that, with flat blades on the end that pushes against the water to move the boat forward. And an anchor. This is a very heavy piece of metal that hooks the with hooks that dig into the ground under the water and stop the boat from drifting away. I hope you enjoyed my story about boats today. Busy boats. Hey there, thanks for joining us for story time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to join us right now for our follow-up activities. Go to trolleytimeblog.dctrolley.org to find these activities. Have fun.